Good morning to you. Well, I'm back in the usual church building again. This morning I was just thinking of one particular verse, and it's 2 Timothy 2.13. And I was looking at all the different translations that uh, you can get for it, but the very basic one is, um, when we are faithless, he is faithful. When we are faithless, he is faithful. He never lets us down. I don't know about you, but there are times when I, I just get really overwhelmed. And I just feel, well, Lord, I just don't have the faith to believe that, that this thing is going to take place, it's going to happen. Um, I'm not really sure. And um, sometimes we want to try and maneuver a situation or manipulate the situation to try and bring something about. And um, yet, really, we're powerless. We can't do it. And all we can do is trust in God. But yet, we just we feel too weak. And I get days like that. I get times like that. And um, we just can't seem to say, Lord, well, I know if I just ask you for something, you'll do it. But of course, his word says he will. And that's the wonder of it. That's the wonder of knowing who Christ is and that he does care for each one of us and that he is involved in all of our circumstances and how easily we forget that. I find sometimes that um, even at my age, I always want to find uh, somebody who's older than me who can um, speak a fatherly word to me when I'm feeling that way. And um, I was just looking actually at the start of chapter 2 in Timothy. And of course, Paul was much older than Timothy. And uh, Timothy had the blessing of having somebody like the Apostle Paul to uh, speak into his life and to uh, speak words of wisdom to him. And uh, I suppose in a way I, I'm kind of translating it to looking at myself as the Timothy and hearing Paul's words. And uh, I'll just read the uh, beginning of chapter 2, just a few verses down to where I, I, I said at verse 13. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully? The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say. And the Lord, give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ, of the seed of David, was raised from the dead, according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble, as an evildoer, even unto bonds. But the word of God is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sakes, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. So everything about God's character has to stay stable, fixed, and immovable. And that is why God is faithful when we are faithless. He holds on to us. His character is sure and unchanging. Unlike us. How fickle we are at times. Let's just know in our hearts, as we see these difficult times arising, 
all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. That is the truth. Whether we feel it or not doesn't matter. It is the truth. So, short message this morning. Um, coming up to these days of uh, busyness again, aren't we? And uh, sometimes get so caught up with those days. But yet, however busy we get, God is still there. And uh, he wants our attention. He wants us to turn to him in the middle of it all. So, um, whatever you're going to do today, turn to him. And remember, if you're in a circumstance that just you feel hopeless in it, know that he is faithful and he will bring you through it. Have a blessed day.